check out our social media. You can find all of the links in the description below. Check out the website. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, BDC TV. There's loads of great content coming up and we don't want you to miss any of it. It's as simple as that. So please subscribe. Anyway, as you can see, we have the fabulous backdrop of the HMS Glocklet, as it's affectionately, affectionately known. <laughs> and uh, we have the fabulous Mr. Nigel Glocklet. Nice to see you, Nigel. Thank you. you. Good to see you again. Yeah, man. it's great, great to be here. And, and thanks for having us hey, along. No We're at the, at uh, now, let me get this right. We're at the King George's Hall in Blackburn. Yeah. Fabulous venue. Yeah, and, it is uh, great. And what a centrepiece to have behind us. <laughs> Are you pleased with it? Oh, yes. Yeah, so, I mean, it's a it's, monster. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, before we get started, just... I mean, tell us tell us a little bit about the drums. Um, I mean, well, I mean, all the shells are birch. Yeah. Um, and I discussed with Keith, you know, the sizes and everything. Yeah. But um, you know, yeah. And the snare drum is um, made of a wood called Purple Heart. Yeah. Because Keith um, sort of, you know, normally I used to use a brass, mm. but he said, but I wanted something with a bit more warmth, and he yeah. said, well, a, a Purple Heart will give you the attack of brass, but a bit more warmth. Sure. So we went with that and it's killer. Yeah, well, we've just had a listen and it does sound absolutely incredible. So it, it's a Legend series kit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And um, we'll, we'll talk about the sizes in a minute. But yeah. The finish is absolutely stunning. It, it's, um, <laughs> it's, it's raven glass, raven glass essentially, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, talk, to about, talk to us about this beautiful racing stripe. Yeah, well, that was Keith's, Keith's idea. He said, yeah, let's do it. Like, what the hell's the car? It's not a Camaro. Um, I can't remember what the, what the American car is with a big stripe right. down the bonnet. Is it a Mustang? Or, or, uh, it's okay. something, something like that. Like I can't that. remember. Or Dodge yeah. Charger or something. Right. might be something like that. So he suggested that, and I went, yeah, okay, let's do it, you know, just for something a bit, little bit different. You so know. was the colour your idea for the stripe? or again? No, was that... that was his. Because oh, he said, go. no, he was like full on to it. Because, yeah. you know, there's so many damn colours you can choose from. Yeah. But it was like, what colour do I have? And he, su he suggested that. So. Well, you go, you go. especially with, with, the, you know, with, the, with the heads. Yeah, heads exactly. On the base and he and said those are Saxon colours anyway. Yeah. You, th you know, so. And as far as the raven glass goes, yeah. was that an obvious choice for you? or did you? Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's, it's bizarre, though, because when you see it like with a different coloured sparkle in it, um, a friend of mine came to the Cardiff gig and he said from the back with the great lacquer on it mm. and the varnish, he said it looked chrome. Yeah, you can, I, I, I totally you understand know. that. Um, I mean, and the fact that it's not a wrap, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's blasted on. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, under the lights here, I mean, it, you, hopefully it will translate through the camera, but yeah. it, it just, it just pops, doesn't it? All the yeah, different it colors and, yeah, it's and lovely. It looks amazing. And some of the details I've been having a look around, <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm sure you'll see this at home later on, but there's a, a beautiful Saxon um, logo etched into the inlay of the bass drum yeah, groups, yeah. which is a lovely that, attention. That was, I didn't know about that. So these are all little things that I've yeah. suddenly seen, and it was like there's one on the snare drum, oh, you know, it, as well. So uh, it is absolutely. Which stunning. you can just see there under the, of course, the of course, BDC thing. On the but, uh, purple heart. So snare. that was, so that was all a surprise for mm. me, you know. So how are you finding it so far? Because obviously right. this is the first tour with it. Yes. Yeah. And are you enjoying it? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, as I said, it's a monster. And yeah. it's, uh, I mean, the sound's great. You know, you've heard a bit of it earlier. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. Just solo drums and everything. But no, it really cuts through. It's got a beautiful tone. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you've, you've played great drums yeah. throughout your career. Yeah. Does it does it vary? Does it, is it different? Is it just... Yeah, well, I've tried different woods as well. I mean, yeah. you know, I've tried maple, but I mean, again, this was like Keith again. He said birch cuts, mm. you know, which is true. It does. Uh, you you know. know, and it's not gentle music, Saxon, is it? It needs no. to, you, you want to be punching through and, <laughs> yeah. you know, fighting with cut through the guitar. However many form as well as we can see it. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You know. So can you, do you mind running us through the sizes just quickly? Yeah, okay. So I've got two uh, eight by sevens. Yeah. But the first one, because obviously the first one's going to be tuned higher than the second one. Yeah. Uh, Keith put an extra couple of layers of laminate. So it's a s slightly thicker shell. Ah, that's to, interesting. To help with the high tone. So it beefs it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Was this, was this rather than having a six? I found, I mean, I used to, you know, back in sort of the 80s when I was playing, I think it was a Ludwig kit. I had Ludwig kits and, mm. and Prem kits as mm. well. I found a six. If you were trying to play something fast, it's a bit of a small target to get to. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of the time you'd be like going, okay, and then click, 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 yeah. click. You it's know, like, if you like practicing your darts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah, well, that's, so. that's a great. So, so, 
So, so just run that through this again. So the okay. first eight is thicker. Yeah, the first eight's got a couple wow. of extra so, layers of laminate. In amazing. There. Yeah. And you, you can tell the difference. Oh, yeah. I mean, again, that was his idea. Of course. You know, so yeah. he's, you know, he's the drum designer. So I sort of bow to his, you know. And amazing. So, sorry, you got through to the eights. Yeah, so, so two eight by sevens. Yeah. Then I've got a 10 by eight. Yeah. And then that's a 12 by nine, 13 by 10. Yeah. And then the floor toms are 15 by 15, 16 by 16. And then the sort of the, the back hanging gong tom or whatever yeah. you call it is an 18 by 16. Ah, okay. So 15 by 15, <clears throat> that's an unusual one. Yeah, well, I just thought, you know, it's because, you know, if I, if I take the snare off the snare drum, I've got a 14, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought let's have something a different, you know, so if I'm playing something, say, with, with the snare off. Yeah. I've got a slightly deeper tone for that. That's amazing. I've, I've never, I don't think of, a 15 by 15 I've never yeah. heard of before. Yeah. So it just looks beautiful, obviously. And it makes sense to have everything rack mounted on a kit this size, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, because, I mean, the stand, you know, when we used to have it with stands, it was a nightmare. Yeah. Especially you know. on a riser, I suppose everything yeah, was. Yeah, well, the, well, there was that, but plus the fact it was just like trying, you know, everything yeah. obviously with stands, you know, you're not going to get everything exact mm. each time. Whereas this, it goes up the same every time. Yeah, you absolutely. Know, everything's memory locked, mm. and you haven't got to worry about all those legs everywhere and trying to. It's just you know, yeah. No, I, I totally it's get It's a lot easier. So, <clears throat> as far as the snare goes, again, I've just noticed we've got the Saxon uh, logo. Yep. etched underneath of it. It's yep. great attention to Again, detail. as I said, I didn't even know that was happening. That's so. a lovely thing to see, you know, when you come and see it and there it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, even even the inlays on the bass drum hoop, uh, I've never seen those before and it, yeah. just, it just looks yeah. beautiful. It's, uh, there's a lot to look at, isn't there, yes. as you go around it, you yeah. know? Um, so, I mean, talk us through, I mean, head choices and stuff. Obviously, it's, it's you know, there's, there's, there's countless... Oh God! Yeah, endless. <laughs> What's now, your I, personal choice? Uh, I tend to use on the on the bottom heads. I tend to use uh, Remo Clear Ambassadors. Yeah, and then on the top, I use Coated yeah. Ambassadors. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I'm always again, you know, with, with a new kit sort of thing. I might try actually on the first three toms. I might try thinner, clear ones. Oh, okay, just to get because I really want it to be sort of. You know, here come the high ones now, you're going to get it, you yeah. know, sort of thing. So maybe a bit more attack. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. You know, so you're always experimenting. Mm. I mean, uh, how about bass drums? What do you use on Bass drum has power stroke three. Right. So I yeah, tend to use that. Those. Yeah. I mean, I think, uh, yeah, you don't, I'm looking at it, I'm trying to remember. And I don't think you use, they're wide open, there's no dampening on any of them, is there? No. No, it's just, no I, like to, I like them to ring. Yeah. And they certainly do. They sound amazing. Because, um, you know, guitar to the other tones or cut any ring off, you know, yeah. uh, and plus the fact letting them ring will, will let them cut through. Mm. Yeah, which right. is what you want. Really. Yeah. Yeah, just beautiful. And, and on a tour like this, because obviously you're, you're hitting them, but yeah. there's a bit of punishment going on. <laughs> how, how often would you change, uh, I mean, tom heads, I mean, snare is probably going to be more frequent, but. Uh, yeah, the snare head's probably more frequent, but oh, on the snare, I use, um, I tend to use a, a coated CS controlled sound. Or the one with the dot underneath. With the dot underneath, yeah. 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 But yeah. again, I might try, you know, um, we were rehearsing somewhere and we were just using a snare in there and they had a 14 inch straight coated ambassador. Mm. So I might try one of those, yeah. you know, next time round just to see how it varies. Yeah, yeah. You know, but no heads, the smaller heads actually tend to last longer because they're tighter. Whereas the floor toms, particularly the gong tom, you know, that gets pitted quite yeah. quickly. So how often on a, would you, what, were you like every other gig or? Oh, no. no, no nothing that. like that. No. Well, just, it varies. It just depends. When it needs it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, could notice all that one sounding a bit dodgy, so we'll change it. Yeah, yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah. Now, can you tell us about your cymbals? Cymbals, yeah. Well, I've been with uh, Peisty for, actually, it was this year, I think 40 years. Have now. You really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. They put a very nice thing up on their uh, website. Mm. But, um, yeah, I've been with them all that time. So I've used various ones. You know, in the yeah. 80s, it was like the 2002s, and then yeah. the 3000s came out. I mean, initially, when I joined Saxon, I, um, for the first few gigs, I was using Pete Gill's kit. Oh, right. So that had the old roods on it. You know, they oh. were all crash rides. <laughs> and, I mean, God, the first time I hit one of those crashes, I nearly broke my wrist. <laughs> it was like, yeah, God, heavy God. lumps, aren't they? God almighty. There was like a, I think there was a 24-inch ride as well. Yeah. 
But uh, no, so I mean, over the years, I've sort of experimented mm. with different things. I've tried the signature ones, and um, but I've sort of settled on these for the minute. So there's basically all the crashes are roots. Yeah. Um, thin or wild crashes, you know, it just depends. So mm -hmm. there's two 18s there. So one's a wild, one's a thin, and yeah. I've got a 17 in the middle. Yeah. And uh, there's a 19 over that side. So I just like the way that, particularly with these, the, t the tone goes down. Yeah. You know, so, but, um, and then ride, I've got the Stuart Copeland. But the rhythm, rhythm, the rhythmist. The rhythmist. The rhythmist, yeah. <laughs> Not the rhythmist. Which I love. I mean, say. the bell on it's beautiful. Yeah. And it looks know. cool as well. That's yeah, still, yeah, you know, great. I know that shouldn't yeah. matter, but it does. It does. <laughs> but, and, um, you know, sort of various, sort of, I've got a thin china, a wild china, and I've also got one of the, um, what is a PST, I think they call it a Swiss cheese, the oh, yeah, simple yeah, thing yeah. with a hole. And that's great. I've just started using that, actually. That's brilliant. Yeah. And then I've got these little sort of stacky things. And these were made specially for me, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, nice. It's like a little eight inch rude splash. I think it's an 18. Yeah. And a, and a 10 inch. And then, um, oh, no, it's a six and an eight. I think it was, yeah, six and an eight. And then um, I was talking to Freddie, who was, he's retired now, mm. but he was one of the um, symbol designers. We yeah. were having, I think it was after the Frankfurt Music Fair or something, or, yeah, it was. I was we were having dinner with Kelly Peisty mm -hmm. and Eric, and uh, I was sitting next to Freddie, and I said, I'd love to know what a little, like, rude china would sound like in a stack. Yeah. And they didn't do them, of course. Three weeks later, two turned up, so it was like brilliant. So we just try that out now. So it's just like a little Fabulous. sort of percussive white noise, yeah. thing, quick little I saw accents. And yeah, and I've got some like <laughs> a couple of cup chimes and a heavy yeah. bell thing around there as well. I just I just get off on sound, yeah, different yeah. sounds. You know, well, it's, it's unusual to see a, a hard hitting drummer as yourself with so many little effects symbols. Yeah. It makes a nice change, you know, yeah. rather than just seeing giant symbols. Yeah. And... I mean, it was, a, again, in the 80s, the big thing was, you know, all the power toms. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like these huge, great monsters. It was... Yeah. yeah. I, I bet you don't miss those days, do you? No. No. Because the thing is, the deeper the tom, the, the higher up they're going to have to go as exactly. well, aren't they? It's exactly. It's a logistical thing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Whereas these are pretty standard sizes. And yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. I think the... the you know, when I was a kid and started, I think the standard size was, what, 12 by 8, was it? 12 yeah. by 8 and 13 yeah. by 9. So it's only an inch deeper, yeah, it's really. So a bit extra beef. Yeah. But the kit is absolutely beautiful. Now, I, I'm looking around and I can't see any drum fills or any wedges. I'm assuming you're on ears for this. Yeah, yeah I love it. Is it has, has that kind of transformed gigging? Or did it take a lot of getting used to, should we say? Um, yeah, it did. I mean, initially, though, again, when I joined the band or later on, you know, mm. it was like I had almost a PA behind yeah, me, yeah, yeah. which was it. ridiculous. I mean, it was just stupid, you know, it was crazy. And um, But with the in-ears, it just means, you know, I can have whatever volume I want, overall volume, but yeah. I can have what volume of everyone else yeah. that I want Yeah. to my own specs yeah specs so to speak you know so it makes it controlling it's a lot easier is it something you got used to straight away or did it take took me a few gigs yeah you know but but i'm really but to be quite honest with you towards you know before i'm towards the bit before i started using them um you know there was obviously the worry about things like tinnitus and mm. stuff so i was actually although i had this pa behind me I was actually wearing earplugs to take the top off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. To take the top off. And it was really weird because once I put those in, because it, uh, with me, I found it was the symbols that were like, oh, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, once I put those in, it took all the nasty top off and I was actually able to hear things clearer. Mm. Yeah, makes sense. For some reason, you know. Yeah, it, make, it makes sense. I mean, you've got to be careful with it. But do you find that you lose... I mean, I've never played in a band like Saxon. I've never played in, well, I've played in venues like this, but not uh, this mm. this volume, you know? Do you still get that? Can you feel that punch from front of house back here? Yeah. Well, you I can. can feel it because I'm on it. I mean, you know, people have said, why don't you try one of these butt kickers? Yeah. No, I get enough. You, so you, you get it back from the Because I'm on it. From the drums. And in, in here, and I yeah. can feel it, you know, so because I have, I tend to have, like, particularly on the toms and the snare, I have a bit of reverb on. Oh, okay, so, so so I know I'm playing in a hall. Yeah, yeah. only a little bit, not too much. You oh, know? That's that's nice because yeah. you can feel a bit isolated, can't you? Yes, 
Particularly um, if they're totally dry, I don't like it. I just want something that, oh yeah. You know. Yeah, especially when you see all the wedges across the yeah. front as well. Yeah. I suppose you're getting plenty from that as well. But, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I've often, I've often wondered if you, because obviously PA is huge. You yeah. know, when you get, um, we had a listen out front before, <laughs> and you know, uh, my fillings have dropped out from the bottom end. But I was wondering if you feel that back here or not. You're obviously going to get a certain amount. Of I'll it. get a certain amount. Yeah, but uh, you know, again, it's like the lower the volume, I find. Well, that you know, it's got to be a certain volume for me to, you know, in, in the in ears to. But sometimes, if it if it's too loud, I find it more tiring for yeah. some reason. Yeah. Because I think it sort of wears you down a bit, you know, because you've got this constant battering in your ears. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a beautiful kit, and you know, it, it is. It's like a it's like a work of art when you look at it as well. <laughs> and and I suppose the positioning of the three toms up there. Yeah. You, you haven't got a lot of choice where else they're going to go. They've got to go there, haven't they? Yeah. Looking at them. Yeah. You've got to lift up a little bit. Yeah. Is that, yeah. Is that easy? Are they easy enough to access? Oh, yeah. I mean, once you do it, it's quite nice because the whole thing tends to sort of be in a slope. So it goes. Yeah. Yeah. But it's so, quite interesting if you go back the other way. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't tend to do that that often, do you? I'm sure. <laughs> but. You know, you're not, you're not filled with dread when you know you have to start off on one of the little times. It's like, no, oh, no, no. But I think I would if I'd still had a six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that. that because of that, of that aiming point yeah. is a lot. Because I did have some, like, um, octobarn things for a while, but it was like, I just I had to get rid of them because it was like, <laughs> click, click, click. You yeah, know. yeah. So you've got this kit. This is obviously your UK and, and, and European kit, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. So have you got one over in the States as well? Yeah, they're going to be doing they're doing me an, another kit for the States. Yeah. So is that going to be a, a different finish or the same? Yeah, different. That's, that's going to be um, ice white. Oh, nice. And then they blast, um, it's like a pearlescent glitter on them. So depending which way you are, it might have shades of pink, green or blue in yeah. it and black nice. hardware. Yeah, oh, oh nice. But all the same sizes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, that, I guess that can't be the HMS Glock. No, that'd be USS Glock for that one. <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Makes sense. Like I say, it's a, it's a stunning kit. And it, is every, I mean, as far as sound engineers go, do they? Do they... Oh, we love it. I'm Jackie, our sound guy, really? loves it. Yeah. yeah. And we've had some great comments, actually, from people, you know, who've been to the gig and have commented on my Facebook or whatever, saying, for instance, we had one who oh. said, that's the best drum sound you've ever had. That's, that's, I can't argue with that. You know, yeah. and, and that's and, not. Yeah, some of it's down to Jackie, obviously, but it's up down to the drums too. It's got to, you, you know, know, it's got to be good going in. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. You know, that's quite a compliment because you've played great drums over the years. Let's, you know, let's not beat yeah. about the bush. Everything yeah. is, is is good. Yeah. There's no bad stuff. Oh, around, yeah. I mean, there's no, I mean, there's some great gear out there <coughs> generally, yeah. But generally been well received. And, oh, yeah. I mean, it sounds, yeah. I mean, what's not to like? We had a good listen before out yeah. front and um, just, just phenomenal things, they really are. <laughs> and the, the lads in the band happy with it? Oh, yeah. Have yeah, they noticed fact, the difference? That, oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, Doug was saying, you know, he said the kit just acoustically sounds so mm. much better than previous yeah. ones I've had, you know. Not knocking them because no, course, they were great in their own, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's just in different. their own way, but, it, but they've really noticed the difference yeah. acoustically. Yeah, absolutely. And has the tour been going well so far? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's been really well received. So, so are you. Uh, obviously, we're in Blackburn. You were in Newcastle last night. That looked like a, a, oh, yeah, a, a fun mad. gig. Yeah, it was. It was great. The Geordies didn't but disappoint. Always, we always have great gigs up there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a beautiful venue. It's, yeah. uh, you know, so it's been going well. Everyone's been happy. Yeah, and... totally. So how far are you going with the tour? Did you go right did You go right through Europe now? Uh, no, we've done Europe. We've done we Europe, did Europe before this. And then there was, I sort of went home for a couple of weeks. Yeah. And then, then we started the UK one. Yeah. <laughs> Is it always nice to come back to the UK? Obviously, they're, they're you know. Oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah. And are the fans different over here? Do they respond differently? Or I'm not trying to knock fans <laughs> in the rest of the world, but That's obviously, Saxon, one. Think... Saxon are from the UK, you know. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, there is that sort of. The new wave of British heavy metal. There is that closeness with the fans, yeah, yeah definitely. Definitely. But the, I mean, the great thing is that we're seeing, and we're seeing in Europe as well, is that we're seeing a lot of young kids down the mm. front now. That's you know, good. so the turnover, yeah. the turn age things going fantastic. They know all the words. Yeah, yeah. You know. I mean, I noticed that in, I mean, I saw you in the Apollo in Manchester in January. Yeah. And uh, th there was a load of youngsters there. And, and there was a real, because it was like one of the first sort of big gigs back again, you know, yeah. after, after the, um, don't mind mentioning the C word, COVID. Yeah. And um, 
it's such an energy in the room. And there was loads of youngsters as well, as you say. Yeah. Uh, great yeah. to see. Yeah. No, no, brilliant, brilliant. No, no, I mean, they've been going. And this is, we've got another, I think we finish next Saturday at the Roundhouse in London. Perfect. Great so, venue to finish Oh, up. yeah, it's a great gig. Yeah. And then we've got about 10 days off, I think. And then we've got a, a gig in Paris because the, the original gig in Paris was the second show on the European tour. Right, okay. But we turned up, our crew turned up, well, we all turned up there and their sprinkler system had burst during the night. Right. So the, underneath the stage resembled a swimming pool. Yeah. And, um, of course, you know, they were trying to get rid of the water, but so he, that was one thing because of the electricity. Yeah. But then the other thing, we couldn't have done it anyway because you can't have a hall. You can't have a gig in a hall with a broken no. sprinkler system. So health and safety. So, so they rescheduled it. So we've yeah. got that. And then the next day is um, the last gig of the year. I think it's Oberhausen, which is an indoor festival in Germany. Yeah. An indoor festival. Yeah they, yeah, they do quite a few of these sort of Christmas oh, okay. winter things with a lot of bands on. So. So a good end to the year then, really. Yeah, that'd be great. And then Amazing. Back home for Christmas then. Beautiful, doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> well, nice. Thanks very much. It's been a pleasure. Enjoy these beautiful drums. Oh, um, I will. Uh, and th as I say, the attention to detail, it's just ridiculous, isn't Highly it? Highly recommended. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, this finish is my favourite. I have a Raven glass kit myself. Excellent. Not that anybody cares about that, but I do, because it's the best colour of the in my honest opinion. Nigel, thank you very much. You're thanks very for, welcome. Uh, thanks thank for spend, letting us spend the time with you. No and, problems uh, at all. Have a great gig tonight. Hope so. Fingers crossed. There we go. <laughs> so once again, I hope you enjoyed that, folks. And again, please check out our social media. You will find all the links in the description. And uh, please subscribe to BDC TV. And we'll see you soon. Thank